All right, so we talked about the statement of value. Hopefully you had a chance to craft yours. And a big question that I get is, you know, how does a statement of value differ from a unique selling proposition? So you probably heard about a unique selling proposition or a USP. Uh, for me, I actually prefer SOV. I prefer statements of value. I'm not saying that a unique selling proposition doesn't have its place, but a unique selling proposition, um, it's inherently product centric. It says, here's why we're different. Here's why we're better. But the reality is being different, being better is rarely the advantage that most business owners, that most marketers think that it is. And history is full of different and better products that didn't win. It's full of different and better products that didn't win. Now, I believe that if you can get away and if you can stop talking about your freaking product and why it's maybe different or better, and again, I'm not saying USPs can be helpful, but if you can speak in the terms of your prospects, your markets, ideal after, what is your statement of value? Why do you deserve to exist? And if you can do it in such a way that you get excited about it, then you know what? I'm betting that your prospects will too. I'm betting that your customers will too. I'm betting that your excitement is going to, you know, flow down to, to your employees and, and, and to your vendors and to everyone who's affiliated. And it, it's going to, it's going to go out there. And I don't mean to get like overly woo woo about this, but I think it matters, right? I think it matters if, if we're good, honest people then and, and I can only assume and hope that you are right. We're not going to really do hard work and be motivated to do that hard work. If we're not reminded that the work that we do, yes, in addition to it, providing a livelihood for us and our family and for, you know, our employees that we actually do deliver a big end result. If, if we don't take time to do that, then we're not going to put forth our best work and business is hard. Growing business is difficult. This work that we're doing is difficult. It's not easy. And um, sometimes we need to be reminded of why we are doing what we are doing and how it's actually a part of something much, much bigger. So I'm going to repeat something that I said in the previous video that I really hope that you take to heart. If reading your statement of value does not cause you to fall in love with your business all over again, if it doesn't bring a smile to your face, then keep working at it until it does. And if it never does, then go back and work on your product. Make your product or service something so great that you can deliver an amazing after that you do widen that value continuum such that you can finally say, yep, this is great. And I'll tell you, if you're doing this for a client, right? If you're a marketing consultant and you're doing this for a client, if you can't craft this on their behalf with, and with their help, and if they're so just messed up about their business, they're, they're so negative about it that, that they uh, never smile when you discuss and, and when you talk about, when you articulate their statement of value, then I would drop them as a client. I really and truly would. They're not worth helping. And, um, and there's lots out there that are lots of people that deserve to win. And those are the ones that we want to help. So again, I said, I was uh, going to stop the grandstanding. I know I had one more here, but I do think that the distinction between a uh, statement of value and a USP is important. Um, because I know that this alone, uh, just the crafting of the statement of value is a huge, huge, huge benefit um, to you and to your clients. So let's go ahead. And uh, again, if you haven't crafted that, go ahead and do that now. I'll see you in the next video.